off the drop. That feels smooth. Welcome back everyone. It is new shock day for me. Finally, my super deluxe coil has arrived after some months of waiting. You'll probably get sick of seeing this track, but I thought it'd be a good test of the, uh, of the shock and most importantly, the bottom out, which these next two, oh, <laughs> Next two drops. Oh, I generally tell you if you're bottoming out. And that was fine. I could feel the hydraulic bottom out kick in, but, oh, this is gonna be slick. But I didn't feel the bottom. Might have touched the bumper, but yeah, that's cool. I think we're in the right ballpark with the settings in the spring. If you're riding this track, just be careful because the bridge has got a crack in it. So it's always worth checking it's still in one piece. Yep. There's a look at the coil in the bike. And I gotta say, I really prefer the aesthetic of this over the Fox shocks <laughs> with this frame and mismatch with the Zeb fork. Um, so yeah, it's a super deluxe coil ultimate. And that means it's got all the adjustments. So rebound, high and low speed compression, hydraulic bottom out. I think that's it. Oh, and it's got a climb switch, obviously. And I'm running it with the recommended 500 spring. That's actually a spring dex, but I've got it set to 500. Spring dex is an adjustable spring, so this one goes 500 to 550. But yeah, just got it in its standard setting. And then I've resisted the urge to long straight this bike which you're allowed to do, but I've just kept it at the standard 62 and a half mil stroke, which gives 165 rear travel, which I think is plenty. All right, we'll keep pushing on, but man, it felt, I don't think I'm gonna to need to touch much. It felt pretty darn good down there. Oh, we'll go over the rock. Oh, someone's changed that. I don't like it. Yeah, that feels absolutely mint. That's just Santa Cruz's standard settings. So I mentioned kind of the pros of a coil shock last time when I was testing the Fox coil that I had. Generally, better small bump, more active, and higher traction. And then the downsides, are it's not as progressive as an air shock. So depending on the frame, that can be a problem or depending on the kind of stuff that you're doing, if you're hitting very big jumps, then again, you might want that progression of an air can because it's slightly less active. The air shock generally pedals a bit better and then you have the higher adjustability of just being able to change a PSI or two here or there. In my case, the frame's progressive enough and I've got a flip chip if I wanna make it more progressive and it's a fairly good pedaling platform. All right, next track is a fast one. It's got some jumps, some drops, some extremely rough sections. So it should be a good test. Oh, it's got some six down. I just take a squeeze, make sure these next bits a bit clear. Mm -hmm. It's been a bit stormy lately. Off the drop. Oh, just made it. <laughs> Oh, 
sorry, rough section. Oh man, that is so smooth. Could have done. Wasn't pretty. Okay, different kind of climb now. This one's a bit steeper, a bit punchier. Often if you don't have enough low speed compression or springs too soft, you can get pushed back on the bike, squats in too much. Not enough rebound, it can bounce around, so well, it's good to do this kind of stuff. Seems pretty good. More active for sure than the air. But plenty of support to push into. What I mean when I say that the coil's more active than the air is it's easier to get it moving. So when you hit little bumps, it'll move a bit more than the air. And when you come out of compression, so when it rebounds, it'll rebound a little bit faster or more, more actively than air. It's a bit of a double-edged sword because it can give you a lot of traction because the rear wheel tracks the ground better, but it can also make the ride a bit wild and pogo-y. And how you ride, makes a big difference too. So if I'm just seated and not being very active myself and I'm going over bumps like I am now, I'll notice that the shock's moving around a bit more. But if I'm leaning into the bike, controlling it with my, my legs and my hips, you notice it a lot less. And the same goes when you're standing. Little overgrown cross country track. poked in the eye. <laughs> oh yes, the flowers are on. Okay, now I filled my phone's memory up with photos. We can get back to it. Oh, that's too hard to get. <laughs> oh. Ah, he swooped. Pretty one not from this country. We've got some fairly aggressive native fauna, especially when it's breeding season for them. Oh, clean the tech climb. Traction must be good. Well, performance has been exceptional so far with the Super Lux coil. Has not shown a single moment of harshness. So I thought I'd bring it to Cuddle Monster, where the rock roll is never not harsh, and seeing how it performs there. <laughs> I'm not expecting a lot. Doesn't seem to matter how you ride that thing. It's a pretty wild ride, a pretty rough one, but we'll see. It's been great so far.
Oh, oh. Front got deflected then. Oh man, just so good over all that stuff. Right, let's see how we go here. <laughs> yeah, it was really good down there. I got excited and I was going to go for the, the gap and then thought better of it. Oh baby. Very impressive. Thanks come with me. Test out my new shock. Just a quick ride today. Bit of a shakedown, but there'll be more coming. If you've got any questions about it or anything else, drop them in the comments below. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.